Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Books and Betches, not to be confused with books and... Watches. I'm Kristen, and with me I have... Erica. Maria. That's Erica and Maria. I feel so far back here, so I'm just a little bit just... Oh, sorry. No, um, you're fine. This, I gotta prop up a little bit you more. You got a props. It's fine. This is a book podcast. We swear, we spoil, we talk about sex, and we suck at all of this. Um, There's no sex in this book. No. Well, yes, there yes, is. There is. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, this week, <laughs> this week we're doing the book Red Rising by, by Pierce Brown. Pierce Brown, I believe so. Should we fact check that? We should. We don't have our our crowd with us in this one. So. I do know that it was written in 2014 because I did look it up to see if it was before or after Hunger Games. Oh, interesting. Was it after, after? or before? After. I, I don't know. 2014. After Hunger Games, 2012, right? Well after. Yeah. Pierce Brown. It's, yes, I was right. Pierce Brown. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, so Red Rising. Oh, fuck, I never. I have been recommended this book many a time, actually. I have too. Have you? That yeah. shocks me. I don't know why I never recommended to her. This I understand was, this, me. Well, maybe not recommended to me, but like it was a you book that I recommended been often. In, that's been in my like Perfect. vision for a long time. Yep. To the point where it was on my TBR before we talked about it. Oh, wow. Okay. So I have brought up Iron Prince, I don't know, a million times. That's my favorite book. And everybody since then has been telling me to read Red Rising. I don't know if I see the comparisons yet. Um, okay. So Red Rising is technically a sci-fi is that the genre i think so at least yeah it's sci-fi i would consider it sci-fi dystopian fantasy somebody let said me, epic let me fantasy look at it sci-fi. on the website Hold on. i think it's dystopian i think it's, dystopian it's definitely dystopian sure. uh science fiction fantasy fiction dystopia young adult okay um and we will do a 60 second but before that did you want to say something erica i thought you had something to say about red rising at the top did you listen to this what do you mean I don't know. I thought that you wanted to say something. I thought I cut you off. But I think I she was thought. just saying that she was recommended it enough, or she saw it enough that she had it on her TBR and it was weird that she saw us having it. I just left a review for it. Oh, oh, you gave it two? I also gave it a two. We'll get into it. We will get into it. Y'all are me. Let's not jump ahead. I gave it a three. Let's it's not two, jump oh ahead. God, it's 2.5 in my head. Magmonious. Magmonious. So it's probably. Magmonious. Did we all listen? Did we all listen? Yes. Yeah. But she didn't listen to the graphic I audio. I didn't listen to the graphic audio. It I listened to it. wasn't available to her on a Oh. It's amazing. Everand like knows when we do the podcast and they're like, oh, <laughs> Let me you can have this over. book the day after you do the podcast. Just <laughs> so, so you're. It's only you that has the problem. It's only me. So I don't get why that happens. I don't even listen to that many audiobooks on ever. Maybe I do. I don't know. Fuck it. Okay. Well, we listen to the. Um, <laughs> we listen to the dramatic <laughs> reading of it. I, I, yeah, it does. You're 100% does right. Like one. <laughs> and you listen to the regular version. The dramatic reading was really good. However, I have to listen to the shit in two times speed. And laughter in two times speed is the most, say, I don't know, satanic thing I've ever. Satonic? <laughs> satonic. Satonic. That's not the right word. It's like chipmunks. It's like, <laughs> and it keeps yeah. happening. And then I'm like, this is like the worst fucking sound. And it did not stop. <laughs> So if you're so, going to listen to the dramatic rating, listen to it normal speed. This is more of like a callback to our previous episodes of like you and your rating scale and how, what you think a good book would be because of the rating scale. This is a 4.27. I know. Rating. I know. I know. It's aggressive. That's and why I, I think had it. I have a theory. Half a million ratings. Which is a lot. I have a theory. thousand reviews. I have a theory. Go for it. What's this series gets way better. And As it goes. So, so I left a review. I left my two star review and I got two comments on it. Oh, the first comment says I wasn't a huge fan of book one. This is from Ryan. But Golden Sun is a vast improvement. The whole Hunger Games stuff goes out the window and becomes a co- complex sci fi epic with a rebellion at the forefront. It gets better. And Pierce Brown's writing improves as the books go along. I'd say if you don't like Golden Sun, drop the series. The second comment I got was from a, somebody named CVF on here it says, please do book two. A lot of people hate hate book one and love book two. If I remember correctly, PB wrote book one in like a month at his parents' garage or attic. Pursue Project on YouTube had a very similar feelings to yours. I definitely recommend her review on book two. So it sounds like this is a series that started not well and then becomes this like yeah. epic. So. I did see like, so I kind of scrolled through the the comments and I actually scrolled through a little bit on Reddit for this one because I was like, this is kind of crazy that I thought this book was so bad yeah. for how high it was scored, which is interesting that that's the conclusion you came to yeah because i i didn't come to that conclusion but i did find similar findings where like everyone was like oh i didn't even realize that um the book like this was the beginning of this series like yeah like i forgot 
yeah. that all of this even happened. Oh, right? wow. Like, it's okay. that irrelevant to, like, the uh, major that's plot. That's what it felt like. Coming into this, I've heard about this series from a specific uh, booktuber that I watch, uh, Becca in the Books, I think. Yeah. Becca in the Books. Becca in the Books. <laughs> That's a good little I handle. I think that's her name on it. I just know her as Becca. Okay. So she has raved about this series. I've heard her talk about it for years I now. I never knew the it. full premise. I knew the main premise was, you know, like rebellion, people who think they're, there's a caste system. And we'll system. do this 60 we'll just, I'll yeah. do it in a minute. Yes. Um. And so I, from hearing it from her, which we tend to like a lot of the same books, it's like, oh, it must be an epic, epic yeah. series. And I, I oh. came in there expecting another Iron Prince moment. Right. You got six you know? books in this series already. Wow. I thought it was three. It's still going? No, it's yeah. done. No, there's not. Oh, it is more. still going. Yes. Holy shit. I think it is still Maybe going. It looks like there's read. two more books coming. I think so. Yeah. Maybe I will read book two. So um from hearing her, I was like, yeah, it has to be epic. I thought it was gonna be like Iron Prince. I was gonna come in here like and it hooked me like that from the beginning. The beginning, yeah. And then I just fucking Lord of the Flies, <laughs> Hunger and Games. And I don't know what like why? Like how like wh- now that I don't say that they see, were written in a month, I can see it now. I can understand. It I'm feels just like curious. It's yeah. like a long ass prologue. I'm so curious where it's going. Like I know, understand the rebelling side of things, but I don't know. Let's do the 60 seconds. So yes. We can dive in a little bit more. Let's go. Um, so what? No, I just, I, <laughs> the breathing. <laughs> she has something to say. I just, I think I'm just like tired of rebellion. You're yeah, you've mentioned every trope right now. You, I think you're tired of fantasy. But like, why is why is every fantasy rebellion? I don't think every fantasy is rebellion, but a lot of reading. what we've read has been rebellion. But it just feels like every non romance book is rebellion. Actually, even the romance ones are rebellion. Such an asinine thing to say. I think it's just, <laughs> but reading, it is. Like I think the, the alien reading. books I read are not fucking rebellion. Well, you're comparing apples they're to just, oranges. They're just like survival. I don't know, okay. man. Okay. Write a better fantasy book. I can understand that we've had a lot of that recently. This rebellion kind of vibe. Yeah. It's not like... So but also we have to think about the time period this book first came out in, which is that Hunger Games era. So rebellion... like I, 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 I say that, like, think about, like, one of the best, like, um, of fantasies of all time, Lord of the Rings. That's not a rebellion book. That's a good versus evil. I think we have just been reading a lot more rebellion books. I don't think there. It's like that crazy. I can't find. It's the same as somebody isn't. online talking about everything is smut. Like I don't yeah. think that's true. I think you're just seeing it more often. Yeah. Not you've noticed it. You can't unsee it. Yeah. I just. But like all the all the popular books are. I'm not saying that all books are like that. Like yeah. Some dumb bitch who said the all smut shit. But like, it's the the famous or like the books that are getting notoriety right now are yeah it's are working all rebellion books? All it's, rebellion. it's working i guess do you think it's just point. a trend coming back it's like the cyclical kind of thing i think so because it was so popular with like i'm gonna i'm gonna like, like deep games. dive into it and be like what books are not about fucking rebellion and like I'm, popular books yeah like i feel like i'm not gonna find any like think of like even iron flame is about or fucking rebellion yeah i mean you're talking about popular tiktok books there's other books out there that are popular outside of like we also TikTok. don't read a lot of literary fiction we're tend we tend to be yeah, a lot in fantasy I, mm-hmm. but that's what i'm saying like fan i'm saying the specific genre of, of fantasy. fantasy not even specific fantasy romance but just fantasy like fantasy romance to me is the is a subgenre fantasy is the I just genre. don't know all right let's do a 60 <laughs> second if you're new to this podcast we do this thing where we attempt to explain the entire plot summary of a book in 60 seconds or less bless our lovely Mer- America oh my America? god I almost said America bless our lovely Maria she's going to do <laughs> red rising uh in 60 seconds or less give us the whole plot she was really just looking forward to this all day hmm. she was like I can't wait just Can make sure hell of sarcasm I seeping do. through her tone <laughs> all right Maria wait I gotta sneeze the entire plot summary of Red Rising in 60 seconds or less. Three, two, one, go. Darrow is a red. There's a caste system in this new world. Their, their job is to basically terraform Mars. So he's never seen the sun. He's always been below ground as a hell diver is what they call him. So he's been drilling and drilling and drilling. And he realizes um, that there's this thing they call the Laurel, which is like the golden ticket of the month basically if you get that you get a lot of resources and money anyway they find out he was never at the laurel because people who are higher than him in color always get uh actual like resources and things his wife uh was telling him live something better and she sang this like forbidden song which gets her hanged 
It just makes him very mad. He gets taken in by the terrorists, the sons of Ares, and they bring him up to the surface, which has already been terraformed. And he realizes that they've all been slaves to the 15. gold. And so they basically tell him, we're going to change you into what is a gold so you can infiltrate and take it down from the inside out. And then we just go into what basically is Lord of the Flies for the rest of the book until Five, he gets like four, taken in by one of the people who three, caused the wife, his two, wife's death. One. Wow. Uh, Here's why I never, when you do 60 seconds and if you're only like a couple chapters in by 30 seconds, here's why I never call you out. Why? Because you managed to fucking get there. <laughs> when you're yeah. 30 seconds in and you're still in chapter she one, stuck. we stay in chapter one. So I just wanted to admire you Thank and you. say very, we, that was really it, good. It had to get set up about the death because the yeah. death of his wife is the catalyst of what sends him on his path. Mind you, this kid's 16. So I... 18, 17, No, when it starts, he's 16. The beginning. Right, he spends months getting transformed. So... Oh, I want to mention that I don't actually want books. I don't want any book recommendations from the... What I was saying. Like, I don't want books about good and evil. Or like... Uh, What? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) No, no, because I I was looking at them and I was like, people are going to try to fucking recommend me like Brandon Sanderson shit. Like, I'm like, okay, I don't want... Okay, I'm glad that you said that. She's just saying her comments are... My comments are just... She's not asking for I'm not looking for anything. Well, I want people to say actually... Send it to Kristen, though. Kristen will take them. All right, so this book... Sorry, that came out of nowhere. That came from her chest. The start... Of this book is so good. I love the open. Hooked me so well. Immediately. Here's why I didn't like this book. And I think it's the overall reason I didn't like this book. Minus the fucking Lord of the Flies bullshit. It's first person. And I don't like first person fantasy. It might have been better third. It definitely would have been better third. I would have loved. I think you do first person if you have multi POV. Multi POV. But even then, like, I don't know. I just don't like first person so that immediately i was like damn you get it you get a knock in my i feel you but i love the hell diver stuff i thought the the story was really interesting being under mars the the pit viper stuff was really cool yeah. you got bit by like a pit viper which As a like kid. their venom is what like makes you stronger whatever yeah. i thought the initial setup excellent amazing when they bring when I loved his relationship with his wife. Yeah. I thought it was cute. However, when she died, I didn't feel crushed. I knew they were gonna kill her. Well, yeah, but I thought that like their whole like wedding um, night was fucking weird. That wasn't their wedding night. They were already married. Wedding night. That was after he got the laurel. And oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She talked. She took him to the spot where to keep him. Okay, okay, anybody okay, else. Okay, it's yeah. like a big pot of gr- a, a, a whatever. Room that of, that, that night. Thing. That night yeah. was fucking weird. I think it's because she knew. She, she just knew, knew she yeah. was like, she was setting things up. I know, I just didn't, like, it just, uh, like, no, but that's what took me out of their romance. I feel mm-hmm. you. Okay. Like, I was just like, right. okay, like, do you even like this guy? They felt like just... best friends. Yeah. They which they were. Like, they were. Know, which makes friends. me think that there's a romance later on that's deeper. There yeah, is the going chick. to be. No, yeah. I know, but but we only get like a little bit. Yeah, we yeah. get that. Middle school. But, but yeah. I'm saying like, I think that that, that like, I, I feel like they do that with like, the first love sometimes and they like downplay it a little so that the second so you love, don't feel as bad liking the second one yeah, coming yeah, in. Yeah. i want it to be a little more crushed i wanted it hit to carry out throughout the entire book which it kind of because well, everything he does is based on of that but it didn't i don't know i haven't i don't feel strongly about her what do you think she's saying who what she's saying when she they they do it in the graphic audio yeah they sing it oh they did oh they yeah. didn't sing no. it in yours they sang it in the graphic audio no. oh yeah did we get the whole the song words? they didn't say the words i don't think so oh she sings it and it well she starts singing it and it goes into the background as you know darrow mm-hmm. is explaining what's happening but then no. later in the book he sings, he sings it. it and you to, get the lyrics um to the girl oh. when she's dying it might have just been oh, said in yours like spoken like spoken word but for us he it sang it said. and it was a very mm-hmm. long long portion of the book i do not like singing in books even in the hunger games like the the um are you yeah are you coming to the tree i don't like when music or even like dancing like i it's, and i know it's like you just like another joy. like i don't like i don't like no i don't like i just don't song. care for it i don't care for music and dancing like in books that are fantasies and i get why it's there i get it i get it but when she so his wife is being hanged and she he like pulls her legs to make it faster because of the gravity so breaks her neck why 
was he sentenced to death after her or something? It's because they were both found in that place. Yeah. Which is uh Yeah, but he got his lashings. Yeah, that's why I was confused as to why he also She started think. singing during her so lashings. I think, yeah, it was just by, by association. Oh, because she's his husband. Yeah. So they're getting killed by the their golds, right? Were they golds? The golds, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. August um, is his name, I think. Yeah. So he's waiting to die himself and he's already like dead inside because his wife was just killed Mm -hmm. and he's saying goodbye to his family. It is whatever. It comes to his hanging day and as he's about to be hanged. So his uncle goes to like pull his feet, but he doesn't pull it like hard enough. So they make it, they basically fake his own death. No, they drugged him, didn't they? Well, they drugged him and then they, they did, faked, but they faked it. They, so they Julietted like, him, like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. 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 So when he goes into like the, I don't know, what is it? When they like bring the body where they need to bring it. Doesn't he like, Literal? I don't know. Doesn't he like wake up somewhere else, like above the yeah, surface? He does. Yeah. Okay. So they take him in to turn they him. They bury him. They don't bury him. They, they, they wake him. up. He wakes up and his uncle's like, yeah, by the way, I'm part of the rebellion. You're in it now, motherfucker. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, this is your fucking. Your wife said it. Live for more. Yeah. Go like on. you got to go. Like you got to be our one. Right. You were saved so that you could do X, Y, Z. Like you're strong. And this, and we that, were and told the from the start that the sons of Aries are what considered, oh, are Aries, considered yeah. like a terrorist group. Um, that are against the golds and uh, Darrow thinks of them as like the le- like less than like these fucking terrorists just why they get re- ruining things we're trying to do something good because in Darrow's mind they are truly living to try to you know further make a better humanity future yeah and terraform Mars that's why they've been digging but little does he know it they've they're already slaves. terraformed for over a hundred years and they're literally slaves There's a whole civilization above yeah living life off the sweat of their backs as slaves. I thought the classification of colors was interesting. The caste cool. system, yeah. I thought that was cool. And they have like cool technology that I thought was really interesting. But like But then we lost it when we went to the it, this is when this is how I, I loved the story up until the, him turning into a gold yeah. was really cool. So cool. And then we go to this he has to like go to school to like become a school. It was like the trial before school trials. Yeah. To like become a gold essentially, or to become like part of the military sense. Yeah. It was like that will then his goal is to one day run a fleet. Yes. So that if he's in a a position of, of command, I guess a position of power, he can influence and basically take the goals down from the inside out. But before you get to that point, there is basically like a whole test, right? There's a test just like an Iron Prince. Mm-hmm. There's a whole test system. And then about 100 of them or so are basically drafted by different houses. And I liked the the way it was set up. It had a very, it felt very Greek yeah. mythology wise. It gave me like, like children's Game of Thrones though with the houses. For sure. <laughs> for sure. That or, or like bit divergent also yeah. a different house, di- yeah. you know, whatever. Um but with the north but it felt and the cool winter because it, it made sense like oh the house of mercury the yeah. house of mars Aries, it's very astrological Jupiter. and greek at the same time a yeah. lot of them had very greek sounding names mm-hmm. they get sent into this thing and they have to basically like survive and it literally becomes lord of the flies yes the proctors the proctors are basically like running things from above they're like overseeing mm-hmm. all the stuff happening. It's also Maze Runner a bit. Is it Maze Runner? I never yeah, read Maze Runner. Very much so, yeah. Well, it's all those books. Maze it's Runner, Hunger books. Games, um, Lord of the Flies for sure. Lord of the Flies heavily. And like Children's Game of Thrones. Somebody in the in Goodreads was like, it's like a adult version of Hunger Games. I'm like, I'm getting kid version. Hunger Games of, was felt more adult than this. I agree. Like, okay, I thought I was crazy. I was like, this doesn't feel like an adult book at all. It feels like a young no, adult. Hunger Games felt more brutal than this did. Okay, good. I mean, I'm glad you this had that. a lot of death. Because you're don't get me you wrong. were like literally competing to die. Yeah. Yeah, this had know. a lot of I, I I had the thought that Erica has a lot when it comes to these academy style places like military academies. Like you can't sustain if they die. Right. That off like how many people are gonna be dying in these academies? A lot of them died in this. But I did like I did like because like they literally so they got like sorted and matched and shit as like a rank or ranked, I guess. And they made sure that like the lower ones were ranked were paired with the higher ones. In the, oh, when in they, the in first the first, test, press, the, yeah. in the first pair of test, so kind that of thing. you, the so passage, that like whatever they the it. strong would survive. So like, okay, that makes sense. How like some of these motherfuckers died. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about within the actual game itself. Like when no, they yeah, once yeah, they start yeah. doing the conquering game of like, okay, House Mars is against House Mercury and House this. You have to basically conquer this whole. What I'm assuming is a massive like world they've built mm-hmm. 
like in Hunger Games, gave the me, dome. You know what it gave me? It gave me like um, in Divergent when they were like playing the capture the flag. Game. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like exactly very much that. Like, yeah. Exactly that, but more intense. It's like months long. Mm-hmm. Um, they have no resource. Some of them are given more resources than others because of whatever their ranks are, whoever they're favored. And some of them were given weapons, some not. And they had to basically go in and survive as best they could. And they would take each other as slaves. I think that this is where the audiobook did me dirty because of the way the actors portrayed the boys. They were, they had really, really like old voices. So they yeah, didn't, everyone was adult. They didn't read as like 16, 17. Yep. So I had to and, keep reminding myself that he was 16. And in the writing, golds are supposed to be these like prestigious, like uptight, elite. like elite. I hated them. So yeah. I had a really hard time connecting with any of the fucking characters. And I had a hard time like caring about their stories just because of how much I didn't like them. Yeah. So I was like, I don't think we're supposed to like them. From like the moment he got into the, the game to like the towards the end i like blacked out yep. so much of it Same. and it sucks because i feel like i don't feel like i missed anything you did not but i missed the connections between the characters that i know are going to be important the only connection episodes. that i think was I mean, the most videos. important was Books. between um darrow and um cassian. julian's brother cassian yeah. whatever his name is or whatever well i think that's going to be important it's later be important in this now they have a blood feud so yeah. essentially in the beginning the first thing they put you in is a room you're butt naked and you're against somebody else, like it's to the death. Whoever whoever lives survives right. this and gets out. So Darrow ended up killing Julian, which was his, his brother. Then brother of Cassian, who they, he becomes friends with in the games. But he convinced without telling and that kid him, is unbearable. But he convinced Cassian that it was Titus. Yeah. Titus sort of convinced Titus, himself. And then he and stabbed Titus, Titus to death, being like, You killed and my he brother. Killed the fuck out of Titus. Yeah. And Daryl's like, I can't tell him now. Yeah. So that, that um, whole thing is what's going to be a very big prominent thing in like book two and three, Mustang, I think. And then there's Mustang, which I think she's probably the most important. The twin of the jackal. The yeah, the jackal. jackal. So the whole time... Jackal's going to be important too. The whole time the jackal is like being built in the north. He's in the north, I think. I think of him as the Night King. Yeah. You know, he's like our big, big bad yeah. on the field. And then our guy, Darrow, is the... Um, what do they call him? The Reaper? The Reaper. So it's like the Reaper versus the Jackal. And that's what this whole book is like leading up to is like their battle, I guess. Mm-hmm. That was when I checked back mm-hmm. in was when the Jackal showed up and he like stabbed his hand onto the yeah. into the table and was like, I know who you are. You're the Jackal. And would ends up being the twin sister of, of Mustang, Mustang, who he's falling in love with. We yeah. can probably yep. say that. Yeah. Um, and at least it's like laying the groundwork. For and them. then yeah. their dad, the Jackal and the, the Mustang's dad offers him the position in it, which and you mentioned he's the, the one in charge of the reason why Darrow's wife was killed. Right. So it's like, where are we going from here? He's Obviously, becoming the apprentice. The downfall of society is the number one goal, right? Is him to be like, to liberate the reds and mm-hmm. but we've saw, but seen it, glimpses this, of him becoming bad too but is yeah but is this dune where like power corrupts and eventually that's what i think you'll, like, he's thinking a lot like a gold but yeah. that's what i'm saying like that's and ultimately like you know what i find you, i fa- i know why i don't like these fucking books they're all allegories like this is allegory for real life and i just I, again like when i want when i read fantasy i want to read a world that does not revolve around anything Us. that's happening in my world which or do you want sucks? to be more subtle like you do with like retelling so you don't want to know depends what's on how it's no done. i i know because i feel like i feel like right now we're in we're in these like moments of rebellion like we're As seeing, a society but you liked like hunger games right? but i wasn't i was 21 right, right hunger right, games right, right, right. like yeah when things were fucking good game of was thrones 2010 and I was living my best life in Italy. You but know like, what I mean? Like it was just not Game of Thrones is very like about, Game of Game of Thrones is not about rebellion. No, but at it's all. it's houses and kingdoms and like Yeah, but that's that's what I want to read. Oh, I thought you didn't like kingdoms and No, she likes no, she, doesn't, I, she doesn't want it to be representation of what we were doing today. Got it. I don't want it to be an allegory of like Got it. Our, our the government's corrupt. Yeah, They're yeah. using us as slaves. Corporate like mm-hmm. corporate greed is is the like the greed of the golds, right? Like it's mm-hmm. all like the same thing yeah. that we're dealing with now, and it's like yeah, we all feel like slaves too. So also, this didn't come out now. This came out, but then. also for everybody to be saying book two turns into an epic sci-fi fantasy makes me think like, are we going to go a completely different direction? I, I think we're feel going like, sci-fi. I think we are going way more, sci-fi. more into space. That's why I almost feel like I have to read book two just but to my see. Thing is like, why I think did you this, should. Why yeah. did it start like this? Why couldn't we just have had, I think, why couldn't this have been like part of a prologue? Because it feels like a prologue. It does, doesn't it? 
It's but interesting. The part up, you know what? Up until, up it until feels Tara's like this dying. could be told as like a, <laughs> like honestly as like a back memory, like, you know, what I mean? like yeah. throughout the book. Yes. Yes. Mm. It could, it could easily be like, uh, I don't think this part of I wonder like, if authors like feel that they're like, I wish flashbacks? I did different. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm they would sure. go back and change any, a lot of things. I'm sure. I think up until it's hard to, up until he got cre- made into a gold, right? Yeah. You had me, me you same. had me there. Same. Once it gets into the Lord of Flies thing, that's where you just, it, just, it didn't feel like the same book I anymore. I like blacked out so much. It just felt like a completely different book. It was yeah. so boring. We had no, so we had boring. none of the actual like sci-fi elements of it. It felt mm-hmm. very primitive. So I was like, where is the sci-fi primitive. in this? If for there to be that much, much action and for me to be that bored. I know. That's why I was like, man, there's so much happening and I don't care about fucking any of yeah. it. So what I think is really interesting, like, um, remember with the Met Gala, how everyone was like anti fucking Met Gala shit. Yeah. Cause everyone was like, it feels like they're at the Capitol. Yep. Like, yeah. It's, yep. it's like people, if the hunger games came out today, I do not think it would be received the same way because really? I think people would not like that. Like, I, almost think, the op- did. I almost think the opposite because it, it is, no, it's, but that's, it's a, now it's pretty cool. like I a, think the opposite because they want, uh, because they're, the way they're talking about the capital in the people book, mad. but they're talking about the capital in the book as if it is bad. So I almost feel like people, it, it's, it would be more of a statement now than it would have in 2012. And I think people want that. I think it would have been a good thing actually. Cause it's a state. It's not saying like, yay, the capital, I, think it, I don't, the capital is like bad in the hunger. No, games. No, 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 but I'm saying like, I think that people would, I think people would have stronger feelings about it. Oh, for sure. That, but I don't in know the that sense it, that like, I, I don't know if it would, work. I don't think it would like make the movies any more. It wouldn't be as popular. I'll tell you that yeah, like because just, everything's saturated was, and like we've talked about this before. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I, yeah, yeah, ultimately like for me, it was just, I, it's this, I feel like it's the tale as old as time. Yeah. It feels like a, it feels like a, a retelling. This? Yeah. Yeah, it's a retelling of like three different books. Oh, there was I mean? so like, just, many. When I, you I, said that about, uh, what was the book we were talking about where you were like, it's all these books and like you like lost your mind fourth over wing? it. Was it fourth, fourth wing? wing? This is how I felt about Red Rod. This is where I was like, oh my God. It's so many books. I'm seeing into Erica's brain and I fucking get it now. Because I was like walking and I was just like, this is fucking Lord of the Flies. That's Every, all that's anytime that's somebody online is like, this book reminded me of XYZ book. This was similar. This was similar. There's always people in the comment section being like, every book has themes and things. And there's True. nothing new and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, yes, understood. But like, there are some things that are, that feel still the original. Ex- yeah. That feel and this still, feels the same. Or you don't <laughs> notice some of the stuff that's being lifted. Right, like, right. It just doesn't feel like there's, it, sometimes it's just a vibe. Yeah. And it's not necessarily that was the vibe like that I got. You're absolutely right. And I want to say this for anybody listening who did enjoy Iron Prince or who no, knows how much it is. This is nothing like Iron Prince. A- and I understand people made the connection because of what was the connection? I don't even know. A Kim school? going to an academy. But this didn't even feel like an academy. No. I'll just tell you right now. That it's so unbelievably different that I didn't get any of I those lo- vibes I, at all. I, to me, like. Iron Prince to me Iron Prince you're was you're recording a message right now on your phone. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's for 7 minutes. <laughs> I love that. Um there were like to me Iron Prince is very original like yeah, feeling. It didn't feel like, like it doesn't yeah. feel like another or if it does it's like in a um like a campy kind of like it's brighter brighter. Yeah, yeah like some, I, don't I don't know, know it's just it, it, but it feels I feel like a, it feels like a nod to it versus a cop it's, it's but like homage but not homage, like let me yeah. check yeah. it's not taking it upon itself but it's almost like it's like hey, in look. my head it's an open window whereas like like when i'm picturing a, if i have to put a picture to it it's like a nice open window with a breeze and then when i see red rising it's like a fucking tunnel <laughs> that i have to go into <laughs> and i'm like god i've been here before um i don't know it's, that's an it's, interesting way of i, I don't know it. why but that's where my brain goes okay. and it's just like i mean i would love to hear if people have read the rest of the series and like what happens and how they liked I it i think i'm gonna read book the two. second I book will. is even yeah. higher rated it's it's a 4.47. I think I'm going to read book I want two. to read second book. If it's going that way, then I think I now can get back on board. Now that we're out of the... Th- now, he has, now that he's an apprentice to who is his enemy. Yeah. 
I'm interested. Also, knowing what it's capable of, knowing that that I enjoyed that first part so much, like I know the writing has potential. The writing's good, so I'm like, I know it could be really. It's just the story. This this story didn't do it for me, but maybe the way the story's going, it'll pick me back up. So I don't know. Like I feel hopeful that this is something that we could enjoy eventually. Are you just looking pictures of your son? He's so they just they cute. just sent me. He, my son's at the Yankee game right now. He's so, so cute! cute. I, I love, love the haircut. The they said so that. Good. Um, so he like loves the. Yank- Sorry, it's sidebar. He loves music and like dancing and just like that actually he, connects. Yeah. He loves like at <laughs> he the, has a dancing tribe. Yeah. At the end of any song, he's like yeah, <laughs> like he just like loves to celebrate stuff. So like he's in the. We, I went to a Yankee game with him a couple weeks ago, and he's in the crowd, and he's just like looking around and he's like just taking it in and he's like so everybody's cute. cheering Aww. everybody's dancing and like shouting and like because the the music's playing yeah. from the walk-up music and he's like this is amazing <laughs> so he starts like cheering and dancing and he's he's not even looking at the game he's around looking at like the people behind him being like yeah <laughs> like clapping and like cheering he's high-fiving people oh and they're my just God. my just husband precious. was just texting me and being cry. like he was flirting he's a big flirt <laughs> um big and flirt. i guess he was like dancing with a woman <laughs> That's cute. Hudson. He, I, is, he is something on the path. else. So on the path. I'm obsessed with Hudson. I think you guys are I'm the most so amazing parents ever. But there is one thing that just makes me a little sad. Yankee fan. You're raising a Yankee fan. I know. And it that breaks my my father's heart. Bums me out so fucking much. And I'm going to love this but maybe kid he'll to death. be one of the good ones. I'm going to love him to death no matter what. But the second he he'll turns be one of the good ones. older, I'm going to be like, buddy, your parents, they did you dirty. Part of me like <laughs> wonders if like. It's kind of if, abuse. <laughs> if like um, maybe one day he will like go to the dark side. I hope so. Because like my family's from Boston. So my I dad's hope he a becomes diehard. a Red Sox fan. You're, my dad's John, a diehard Red Sox, Red Sox fan. John so would cry. Like how funny would it be if he was like, fuck, I don't want to. I, I don't want to root for the Yankees anymore. I would actually feel bad for John. Yeah, John's, John's <laughs> going to hurt. You'd be heartbroken. John's going to get hurt. I feel like, you're not a Yankee fan, are you? No. Yeah, I'm never. So she's going to be fine. <laughs> um, I'm kind of turning But I kind of feel. because of your dad? I, the more you go to Yankee fans, the more you like them. Don't lie. Don't I don't fucking mind. Lie. When they I like do, one of the game. When they do roll call, it is so cute. It is adorable. And that new kid, Rice, that's on the team, not going to lie, adorable. Love him. I do like and I, I hate, like individual I hate Yankees. This. I hate saying I this. like individual Yankees. It's just the fucking fans and Guys, the fucking... Guys, I don't Anyways, watch any sports, but sorry. sometimes. So. Sorry. We're, John's also a uh, Cowboys fan, and like that's not going to fucking fly. I'll My tell you God, that. you picked the man with the worst sports team. No, honestly, that's like not... It's bad for you, great for me. I, I, Cowboys and Patriots are not... Not conflicting I in any way. The Cowboys. If he was a Giants fan, I would have had a really big problem. So yeah. realistically, they don't win. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just listen. It's the truth now. Is, yeah, Mar- you <laughs> really can't say you, shit. Kristen, Tom, Tom Brady has not been the Giants no, like, in oh a Super God, Bowl. The Giants never win, and it's an other. But that's so what I'm saying. I wouldn't be able to live with that. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. So sorry, we got a little off topic okay. there. Coming back to Red Rising. I think the consensus is we all thought book one kind of sucked. What if, what? what if you did like a fantasy that was like all like sports? That probably exists. I'm sure it does. Like, like this is war, like M- R- RPG, right? Like theme. I am Prince. Yeah. But like, what if it was like, sports games instead and technically the, t- Erica, the tournament is a sport fantasy but sports <laughs> like <laughs> she's gonna go write a book yeah like in, like really really <laughs> i feel like i feel like there is like something. olympic but olympics but so like, it's like the fry cook games wait, in SpongeBob. wait wait, <laughs> wait, wait let me let me yeah, let me stretch let my legs out yeah let me cook let me cook um it's like the olympics but if the olympics this, this is coming let her, no, let her, shut let her, up quiet it's the Olympics, and then whatever colony or like country wins gets to rule the world that year, or for those like four years. I'm gonna say something that's gonna piss you off so much. What? Light lurk. That's not. <laughs> Isn't that all of them coming together to compete for like a curse or something? Yeah, it's a I curse. Think it is. I think it is. No, that's like not a game. No, I'm not talking about. I think they do I'm play not talking games. about like. I'm not talking about tor- like. I'm talking about like sports. <laughs> Like sports. sports. Oh my God. And then not the ball, like, when the ball hits the bat, it like cracks twilight. Oh my God. When- no, 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 no. I'm talking like true, true, like, like oh God. sports. No, like Quidditch, like make up a fucking game. You're saying things that already exist. Yeah, isn't no, that in Carson City? Doesn't what? he love like that oh, baseball like the, game? The 
the yeah, what are they called? The sun dunkers. Sunball. The sun, sun ball. dunkers. No, come on, sunball. Sunball. Sun sunball. Yeah. They play fucking basketball with the sun. I don't know what no it is. No one knows what it actually uh, is. Yeah, I, no think think it's, I think it's baseball. I have no fun. But it's idea. not really truly ex- explained. I thought it was basketball. See, I don't think anyone knows what it truly is. I don't know. Anyway, no, I think light lark is more like that tournament style where you like that's what compete. Is yeah. like isn't that what Olympics are? Yes. No, 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 but it's like it's like the I don't know. It was like um, what's the book that I really fucking loved with the vampire? Start by the wings of night. Yeah, it's like that where it's like trials. They like yeah, trials of shit. God, that's like more. I'm talking about. Sp- Sports. <laughs> you say Just sports one more fuck sports. sports. All right, go ahead, write it. Like, think about it. Like, she's in a writing mood, I think. Maybe the green man is a soccer player. <gasps> no. <laughs> His world has it, right? And yeah. they have to, to get the next ruler, he has something to, like, with peas. Something with the peas. <laughs> like, you have to. Yeah, like and you it, could be a pea head, like, like a cheese bocce. head. It's like you have to play bocce. Just peas. But don't call me a pea head. Stop. <laughs> You have to play bocce with peas. Oh my god! Okay, Red Rising. Well, maybe we'll read the second one. If you read it, tell us your thoughts. I would love to hear more I'm opinions. Still read book two. I don't know when we'll get to it when I get to it. I wonder if people went back and changed their rating on book because one of book one because of how much they love the series. I mean, someone do people commented do that? on my Goodreads saying it was their favorite book of all time. Book one. Of this. This book. This book. This is how you know art is subjective. Yeah. This is how you know, like, we all have different, how, I will say, I think if I read this book, I might have had a different outcome. I might have enjoyed it a little bit more. I really liked the graphic audio. So did I. But I'm just saying it. it was really it, cool. I loved it. I think it added a lot of life to it. But I think it altered how I viewed characters. And I think that played a I part think, in I it. I wish they were older in general. Yeah. Younger. No, older. older. Oh. Like I wish the, the characters voices. themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wish they were older. Oh, I was going to say, I wish the voices were younger. The but fact they're all like 16, 17. Yeah. I know. Was I, hated to me. I hated well, that. I hated that. Well, that's why it felt like Hunger Games. Yeah. Why is everyone so young? I guess because you, when you're older, like, fuck it. Well, because they, they die so quickly. And <laughs> that's actually there. a really good point. At 30, <laughs> I'd be like, my fucking knees hurt. I'm good with the rebellion. I'm good. I'm going to keep yeah. digging my holes. Honestly, yeah. I'm going right. to keep digging my holes down yeah. here. <laughs> Just like, I think it's hard uh, to motivate someone in their 30s to do any of stuff for them. That's such a fucking good point that you said. That's so, <laughs> that could be a topic in itself. All right. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Shut up. <sighs> Look up Books and Betches. Um, go over to our Instagram. Follow us there. Books and underscore n underscore badges b-e-t-c-h-e-s we love you so much thanks for being here and we'll catch you in the next one bye bye